I'm going to be completely honest. I 100% slept on the Boy Genius stuff. Like a friend of mine sent me the record the month it came out and I was just like, oh yeah, I'll check it out. And I never did. And it feels like I just blinked and now it's won like three Grammys. So I guess I'll listen to it. But I also thought I could have some fun with it. I normally recreate indie pop tracks from scratch off camera, but since I'm a little behind on content this week and I need to get a video out for Friday, I figured I might as well show you guys me actually recreating the track from scratch. So without further ado, let's get into it. So Not Strong Enough is the track on the album that won two Grammys. So I'm just going to do that one again. I don't I don't care if none of you believe me. I've genuinely never listened to this song before. OK, I feel like I have an approach that I want to use for this track. Also, just to clarify, um, I'm not going to recreate it note for note for copyright reasons, but I think we can get generally in the same ballpark. All right. After a bit of consulting online, I know I said I didn't want to do it like note for note, but I kind of feel like the acoustic is the most important part. They're using this tuning that's kind of like dad gad, but instead of D A D. G, it's an F sharp, so that would make the song in D major. And they're using these interesting chord shapes. Also, another thing I noticed is that it's not just a regular acoustic. They are using like a Nashville set of strings. And what that means is these strings that are normally the four lowest strings are actually an octave higher above what they normally would be. It almost has like a mandolin vibe to it. All right, then double track it. I think we got what we need. Just a little bit of EQ, keep it from being super harsh. I forgot to eat dinner, so I ate some chicken nuggets and came back. So it sounds like I was wrong. It's not D major, it's C sharp major. So it's basically that tuning that I talked about, but half step down. All right, so we got that. Now I feel like there was like kind of a surf rock ambient thing going on. So I'm gonna get my jazz master and try to find something. There's also a bit of a flanger to it, I feel like. Yeah, high pass that low end out, some reverb. Right now we're using an AC30, but I feel like, A, we need a little bit of compression going into this, but also I think we need a different amp. So yeah, let me just noodle around with that. Again, I'm just looking for something that's generally a similar part and like in the right range. I also felt like there was a little bit of a lower version of that. Yeah, something like that, just like a lower, chuggier thing happening that's almost filling up the range of a higher bass line. Next, we need a P bass. Feel like it's a little bit of a drivier tone. Super simple bass chain, compressor pedal into an Ampeg amp. Seems like it's kind of in the right range. Yeah, that's kind of going the way that I want. I feel like there's a little bit of a tambourine. Every unedited tambourine loop sounds terrible. Yeah, it's not a fast tambourine that's going chicka 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 chicka. It's like a very slow, like bringing up the rear of the drum kit vibe, which by the way, I will get to in a second. I just want to throw on like a plate. Uh, what are we going to do? Let's just do a dark plate. I feel like these live tracks, it's best to like throw them all into the same reverb so that they all seem to fit like a short reverb, maybe. All right, now let's try to get some drums going. I feel like for indie stuff, the slate stuff is always pretty good. Let's do deluxe indie. down so we can bring the drums up yeah let's try that and then i feel like it all just needs a bunch of compression now 
account to bring out a couple of different channels just for the the kick and the snare i think so have this one be kick this one be snare just because i feel like the processing on this like it's gonna need a little bit more than just what this can do right out of the box now we can take all this and group it together real quick eq this is probably not the ideal way of doing this i would probably just want a better kick drum if i'm being honest but uh I just kind of want to get this in a place where I'm happy with it. Let's do another FET. Normally I don't use a bunch of FET compression all at once just because I'm afraid of it making everything a bit too dark, but I feel like this whole mix is really dark, so I'm not really worried about that. Feel like there's a little bit of like low end that's missing from it. So let's just go and see where's the F sharp around, around 90. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. And then about half that's 45. Two second kick drum mix. EQ compressor and a little bit of low end excitement before, after. Not amazing, not terrible. I'm thinking the snare will actually probably be fairly similar. Give it a little bit of air. Compress. Compression on the drum bus. This is probably, I can guarantee this is probably exactly not the way that they did it, but I'm, I'm, this is what I know what to do right now. And then we're gonna use another FET compressor. And then I wanna get that snare a little bit better. Sorry, my life. We're just gonna throw some tape machine on that and hope it makes it better. It didn't make it worse. We might have to separate the room mic into its own thing. So I think it's making a lot of problems right now. Yeah, that's pretty much pretty much what I wanted to do. A little bit of a roll thing here. Maybe a little bit of a step hat on the quarter notes. I don't know if that's what they were doing, but it's it would sound cool. I feel like I'm getting more and more confident the, the more I do. I think the last thing is like this little Juno lead thing that they have going. It's very simple. So let's look for a Juno sound that's vaguely in the right place. That, but without the effects on it. it needs to be a little softer. All right, I feel like we've got a majority of the track where it needs to be. I think it's just get everything balanced right now. So, so here's, here's what I'm thinking. We just throw on some compression. If you're ever looking at compressor settings and you're wondering if you use the regular version or the high pass version, if you want the whole mix to kind of duck around the snare, probably use the high pass version. If you want to sort of gel together like an older mix, use the regular version. All right, we're getting closer. I think the last thing I want to do is add a little bit of like a RC20. I feel like I don't want to add too much because it tends to darken stuff up, but I think it needs a little bit of vintage wobble. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna call it. So this is my attempt at recreating Boy Genius's I'm Not Strong Enough after listening to it for the first time today. How close do you think I got? have any other songs you'd like me to haphazardly throw together and see if I can come up with a somewhat close version of them. Join the Discord, it will be linked down below. I do enjoy this sort of doing it live on camera more instead of just coming to you guys with like a finished production that I walk through. But yeah, uh, comment below how close you think I got. See you guys next week.